and hello welcome back to another video in finance math uh, in this video we're going to talk about saving for college so suppose that you were born uh, when you were born your parents decided to start depositing $250 per month into, an, into a savings account paying interest at the rate of 4.125 percent per year compounded monthly assuming that you start college at 18 how much would you accumulate in the 18 years now in previous videos we called this an annuity um, but when the annuity is every month when you're putting a because remember annuity is paying a fixed amount at every or uh, like every month or every year or something like that which is what's happening here now the formula for that annuity or for this monthly savings program uh, is this so a equals and you got your monthly payment and then you have the interest rate R over N, N standing for the number of times you compound in a year, which is 12 because it's monthly. All right, now the things that we know, we know M, which is $250. And then we know the interest rate, which is 0 0.04125 over 12 raised to the NT, which is 12 times 18, minus 1, and then times N, 12, over R, which is the interest rate again, which is 0.04125. And then you just have to plug that into the calculator. And you'll get 79,891 dollars and 51 cents so that's quite a bit of money now just for uh, put this in perspective let's say you were to just put 250 dollars in your mattress every month for 18 years so this is how much money you actually spent yourself and that's going to end up being fifty four thousand dollars so in 18 years you have spent fifty four thousand dollars but because of interest uh, it does come out to be $79,891. So how much did you get in interest? Well, you would take the $79,891.51, and you would subtract off $54,000, and you're going to get $25,891.51. So in those 18 years, you spent, again, 54000 and you got twenty-five thousand, almost twenty-six thousand dollars in interest. So a very good savings program if you're able to uh, afford two hundred and fifty dollars per month. Now the next example I have is we just—it's a little bit different. Uh, when you're born, your parents set up a savings program for college, so very similar. But instead of knowing what they're going to deposit every month, they know that they need twenty thousand dollars by the time you're 18. Um, you know what, let's do, let's do 40,000. So let's make that 40,000 by the time you're 18. So they find a bank account earning 3.5% compounded monthly. How much do they have to deposit per month so that your savings account will have the desired amount? So we still have that formula, A equals M, you know, all that stuff. And we have all the information that we need um, but we're solving for something different now. Instead, we are solving for M, the amount of money we need to put in per month. Now, we know A because that's our goal amount. That's the accumulated amount, and that's $40,000. We don't know M, but we do know everything else. We know the interest rate, which is 0 0.035. Remember, interest rates are written as decimals. Divided by 12 because it is a monthly savings uh, times or raised to the 12 times 18, and then times n over r, which is 12 over 0.035. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify this right-hand side. So plug that into your calculator, and you're going to get m times and then a long decimal, or a, long, a big number. Well, not super big, but it's going to be long to write out. So 300 point three zero five remember write out as many decimals as you can okay and then on the left hand side it's still forty thousand dollars 
So to solve for your monthly payment, you're going to divide both sides by this 300 and, and change here. So M is going to equal $40,000 divided by the 300.305 and so on. And you're going to get $133. And we'll round that up, I guess, to 20 cents. OK, so. To save for $40,000, you need $133. Now, compared to the previous problem up here, if you saved $250, you would have $79,000. So you would have almost twice as much. Okay, but it all—that kind of makes sense because um, two times 133 is 266 which is a little bit more than the 250, but again, that's the power of interest. If you're putting in money early, a lot more money, then that interest is gonna build up a lot faster. So there you go. Um, that is our example on a savings program.